Hey, it's Sam back here. I'm excited today to introduce you to Push Leads. Push Leads is a really easy to use push notifications software. And um, these push notifications have really become uh, you know, known over the last couple of months. Facebook has started using them, um, Upwork and, and large companies such as CNN and, um, and a number of news websites have started using these push notification messages to get their message across without having to use email to actually email people. Instead, they can send push notifications. I've actually signed up for a number of push notifications over the last month and I get those push notifications for Upwork and a couple of other sites that I follow as well and they come into my browser and every single time I check them because it's something new it's something unique and um, unlike email you know which where you get you know 100 emails a day cluttering your inbox and it's hard to get to all of them with push notifications it's short it's easy to see and easy to act upon when you need to it also stops people in their tracks when they're actually um, you know on a browser and it's unmissable, unmistakable. So what are these push notifications? Well, they come in many different ways. Basically what they are is they're messages that first of all pop up on your website like this, and then your visitor will have the option to either say, yes, I would like to sign up for your push notifications list to find out more, or cross it and say, no, I, w I don't want to. Okay, so we've just confirmed that yes, we would like to allow um, push notifications. We've clicked allow, and now it's going to subscribe us to those push notifications. If we go back to the website, we'll be able to receive messages. It's the same with, you know, if you're doing a social media niche, you could say, yep, I accept, I allow, and click allow as well. And what happens is when you've allowed these push notifications, and we can send people to whatever thank you page we want to, then what happens is we're able to message people through the browser. Okay, so this is another one. I can click allow if I want to. I could ignore it if I wanted to. I could click allow if I wanted to for an affiliate product. I could click ignore. Um, you know, e-commerce, I could click allow. I could click ignore. There's many different uses for this. It could be, um, you know, uh, webinars, for example. You know, you have someone sign up for one of these on a webinar, and then suddenly what you do is you send them reminder push notifications um, through into their browser saying hey there's a webinar happening in two hours time one hours time 30 minutes time the webinar is live click here and you can make sure that people are actually getting access to that information and getting access um, when they need it so this is what the dashboard looks like of push leads it's really easy to use it's easy to navigate and it actually shows how many people have subscribed to, uh, depending on which browser it'll work with Safari Chrome Firefox and Opera browsers so it covers the main browsers that people are using and it has the statistics or, or dashboard right here now when you get started with this you'll basically be able to start with your dashboard you'll enter in your API key um, and the API key is basically uh, if you want to um, push notifications through the software from your own uh, Google account um, you can use ours you don't need to enter in any API details uh, the, you know, there's no installation needed. You can actually use our system to do it, but if you'd like to use your system and, and we've got some training on why you might want to use your system in there, then what you need to do is just simply create the push notification. So to do that, we'll first of all go to dashboard. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a dashboard and uh, this has all of the different notification um, apps that we've created. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new application today, then I'll show you how to send messages through to that application. So we click add application, we then name our application, so it might be that it's an affiliate marketing app or it might be for my um, you know, website, your own website, it could be for a local business website. I want to put it Sam Becker Consulting. Okay, I've got a website called Sam Becker Consulting and I'm going to enter in my subdomain as well. Now that subdomain is basically a link that's unique to me that will allow me to send out these notifications. Now I'm going to click next and or save, I'm going to click save and now a, a, a notification successfully added. Now right now we're in the process of um, doing an update so gathering your audience um, is not possible sending instant notifications. Now we're just start doing an update right now and um, that's the reason that it's showing this. That'll be removed in about five to 10 minutes. We, we haven't actually launched this product yet so that will be gone in about five to 10 minutes time as the developer is doing a couple of updates right now that have been pushed into the system. We're updating this all the time. So, um, but I can show you what I need to here. So first of all, what we do is we need to um, add in this code. We add in this code into our website, and what that code's going to do is it's going to pop up this push notification as I showed you before. It'll basically push up this. This notification can be added anywhere, and we can customize it as we want as well. If we wanted to, we could actually download a WordPress plugin and add that into our website as well. So then once we've gone ahead and we've customized this or added it into our website, then all we need to do is go ahead and edit our application. So go back to dashboard, 
Then go to go ahead to here, and we've got an application dashboard within the subdirectory that's been created. Okay, so we created a subdirectory. It's now in here within our dashboard, and we can now customize our application as we want from within this individual application's dashboard here. So if we want to, we could add a title to our application. We could say um, the website, and we've already automatically entered this in for you. The website Sandback Consulting would like to send you push notifications. Notifications can be turned off at any time. Um, click allow, ignore. You can allow on mobile. I would like to allow on mobile. Yes, customize the visual aspects. I can choose from four different templates. These are different templates that either are located um, you know, in the top in the left, center, or right. So I might put in the in the right, I like the right, I'll put it up the top right in this case. Then we can offer reminders, we can actually do reminders, we can do daily reminders, prompting people to sign up if they don't sign up immediately. And we can also ask then, um, you know, for a little window to be created with some additional text if they haven't decided to come through. We can also change the branding, so we could change it to our logo if we wanted to, um, and that's available here. Once we're done, we click save, and then we've customized our push notification. Easy as that. Okay, so once again, um, we'll go back down to Sandback Consulting down here. We've got our statistics, we've got a landing page we can create, that's an OTO1 feature. Um, we can create a welcome message, so this is a message that people will be sent once they actually subscribe to this in the first place. So they'll be sent this message, it might be thank you, uh, thank you for subscribing, look out for updates soon. And then we might have a link here um, with a gift, or we could have you know, uh, an image with some sort of gift, we could have a link that leads to something that people may want, or we could just have no image at all and it just says thanks for updating. We click save and then once someone's actually opted in, then it'll go ahead and start using that. We can also activate that thank you message to make sure people start receiving it. Now when people subscribe to our message, they'll um, you know, see it there. What we can also do is um, we can also send notifications out. Now you saw there was an update going out right now, so I'm not gonna um, attempt to show you this live, but what I will do is I'll show you how these messages work. So how the software works is once someone accepts the software, once they decide that they want to receive browser notifications, the software itself uh, then opts them into your subscriber list, all right? So they get added to your subscriber list. Then from there you can send the messages which appear in their browser at the bottom, just like this, or up the top, um, as you want, all right? It'll basically be a message that people can't miss as they scroll through their browser. So we can then customize this message as we want. So we could say, um, discount today, or we could say, you know, uh, webinar starts in two hours. Make sure you don't miss this special webinar about how to make money with, with webinars. Click here to register or it could be you know click here um, to download your guide your PowerPoint guide or click here to join the webinar now we could then type in our link it might be runawebinar.com slash webinar slash our number and we can add an image or customize that image we can also go ahead and customize the start delivery from date, delivery end date. If we wanted to send it immediately, don't touch anything, just leave it blank and then click send and it's actually gonna send that update out. Here we are, it says successfully sent a notification to your list. So um, if we had actually opted through this, it would have sent that application to the subscriber list. Easy as that, and then it's gonna pop up with a message showing us, hey, we just sent this message out to your subscriber list. Um, it's been confirmed, and you can actually see statistics on how many people have actually clicked through. So this is what Push Leads gives you the ability to do. It gives you the ability to message people in a new and exciting way through the browser of a dashboard. Now, it's unfortunate we've got an update happening right now. I'm gonna redo this video later on um, to make sure that uh, I can cover all that I want to um, in this, so I can actually show you this live updating once this update's done, but I wanted to um, not waste any time, I wanted to get this out to you immediately so you could see for yourself what this can do for your business, what this um, software does, and uh, I hope you're excited. So this is Sam Becker, I hope this was clear as well and you can now understand how this can be used in your business. There's so many different uses for it. It's like email, but um, for the browser, and uh, I, I hope you go down below, check out all the different bonuses and get access early to make sure you get the best price. This is Sam Becker, I'll talk to you again soon. See you later.